In this video, we'll show you how to improve your workflow, how to work faster, easier, just make your life easier on when working with Photoshop and just forget, try to remember all those keyboard shortcuts that you customize and you try to create, which of course can make it faster for you, but you don't have to remember it. You just have to press the key with the way that I'm going to show you that it's going to make your life so much easier. And uh, the way I started with this is because I was actually, I had customized keyboard shortcuts. I wanted to make my own keyboard shortcuts on Photoshop, you know, ones that I will remember. I know Photoshop has the same ones and the universal ones, but it's very rare when I actually sit down in front of somebody else's computer and try to use the same sh uh, keyboard shortcuts. So even when I go to school, I just, I take usually my laptop and uh, not everybody has the luxury of having a laptop to go to school, but I'm sure you can start working in Photoshop. You get the basic one, but when you get home, you can work so much faster. That's so that's what I did. I did a lot of retouching and uh, I went out and started looking for controllers and I think this is one of the best options that you can do. You won't be able to change the letters on the actual controller on the G on the Logitech G13, but you can actually uh, start remembering once you start using it over and over, you will start actually remembering it. And you can just remember one key and customize it to the location that you want and however you want it. So you can use just one hand for your commands and the other hand, I use a welcome tablet and I just keep on working. I don't even stop. I just keep on working. And uh, yeah, it's just it's so much easier. I don't have to move my, my hands. I don't have to remove them from, from my right hand goes to the keypad. My left hand uses the tablet. So let me show you pretty much how this is done. Uh, of course, first you're gonna have to uh, create the uh, keyboard shortcuts, depending on which ones you wanna set up. You can go by the ones that are in default, which is not a problem, you can use it. Like for example, Camera Raw is already there. It has a short uh, keyboard shortcut. It doesn't matter. You can use it. You can program it to what uh, to what it already has. And uh, and I'm gonna show you pretty much how this is set up. So I'm gonna go back to this is the software that you need to download. I'm on a Mac, but it doesn't matter. PC or Mac, it's the same thing. And you have actually three pages that you can customize. You can change the color. As you can see, this actually glows at night, which is even better. So if you're working at night, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to have a light like me. I don't like to have a light turned on just to see my screen. I just has uh, the keys light up orange and the same thing. So this is uh, number one that lights up uh, blue number. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I have it orange. I don't know why right here is glowing kind of white, but I have an orange on my keypad. Number two uh, glows blue and number three, I have it kind of like a more like a light yellow, but it doesn't matter. I'll show you later how to customize that. But as you can see, I already customized all my settings. Portraiture, camera raw, exposure, transform, sharpen and convert the image to 8-bit, final sharpen, stamp new layer. Stamp new layer says if you have your image and create several layers, uh, curves, uh, brightness, it doesn't matter. Uh, what you do when, it's, when you stamp a new layer, you do shift command, option command and E on Photoshop CC 2014. And that creates a new layer with all the changes that you have done. So with one key, I'm actually doing four keystrokes, five, shift, control, option command and E. And I only have to do one key, which is so much easier. And it actually is so fast. I will show you how to set it up. So let's say we're gonna, let's start with camera raw and you want it here. It doesn't have to be here. You can set it up depending on your hand on how fast it works and everything. This key right here has like a little indentation down. So you can have this as the middle so that you know where you're at on the keyboard. You don't have to look at it. Or you can you can start from here out or you can start from here down. It's up to you. So let's assign a new command. The keystroke on this one, you can assign simple keystrokes and it'll name it like that. So then you know, okay, B is my move tool, you know. But unfortunately, you can't really name it move tool. If you remember, that's fine. But let's say you want to give it a name. Multi key, you don't have to actually have multi key to set it up. So I'm going to give it move tool. I'm going to go ahead and hit start recording because it's thinking that you're going to record multiple keystrokes, but it's okay. I hit VV, it's actually going to type it twice. I'm going to hit stop recording and I'm going to hit okay. So if I hit, let me hit the letter C on Photoshop. I'm going to cancel here so you guys can see the car. So if I hit my uh, my G1 on this pad, uh, actually I'm still here. So if I hit the G1 over here, it changes right away to the move tool, which is basically what this is designed. 
but we're not going to do that. We were actually going to set it up for multiple keystrokes. But like I said, you can have multiple keys. You just have a single or multiple in one. So let's do the camera raw. So we're going to go here. We're going to assign a new command. We're going to go multi key. I'm going to name it camera raw. I'm going to go down to the start recording and I'm going to look to my left camera raw shift command a shift command a and then press and hold all of them and I let go and it's going to duplicate but that's okay don't worry about that so that's already recorded I'm going to hit ok and it's going to come up with the name camera raw so when I go over here I'm going to hit cancel here and I hit that key it's going to set my image back to camera raw which is excellent I don't have to do that it's just one keystroke boom send me to camera raw I do my changes here I go back to my image and I'm, I'm ready to go keep on going and we're gonna go ahead and set up another one let's, let's go to filter let's say the one of the most useful is also liquefied if you're a retoucher for whatever uh, if you're retouching beauty or whatever a couple of things here and there you want to transform it you know a couple of bulks so we're gonna go ahead and do that assign a new command you basically click on it click on the down arrow assign a new command multi key the name so liquefy and we're gonna hit record we're gonna look at the shift command x hit re start recording shift command x so press shift and hold it the same that you would do a regular shortcut hold command and then x press all three keys you hold them and then you let them go all at once once that's done you hit ok I'll stop recording and then hit back ok and now it's renamed so we're going to go ahead and go back over here and I'm going to do that G3 liquefy and you can start moving around whatever you want I'm going to hit cancel and that's it it's pretty simple it actually improves your workflow so much faster it's, it's just unbelievable you keep two hands on one set of things pressing one or two keys one key not two keys one key to do several keystrokes and you just you're going to see how much it improves it it's just unbelievable uh, let's do another one keyboard shortcuts and again filters let me show you another one that is not there uh, actually for uh, for exposure 7 it's not part I had to create one so I gave it a like three of the bottom keys for my keyboard which is the first one is control then option then command just in a row and then E you can do whatever you want you can do eye candy you can do shift command and E I guess if it's, it's a valid shortcut it says it must include a command then uh, you gotta be like okay so I'm gonna do control option E you know so basically it's telling you right here oh it's gonna merge your copy of the layers I said that it's gonna tell you right away so like I said you can be like okay if you don't want to delete the current uh, shortcuts that it has by default you can create your own shift option command let's say the number uh, uh, I put number nine instead of the I the I again it's gonna tell you file info if you accept it you'll be like I don't care I'm gonna go ahead and do that option shift command I so you're like I don't care you can accept and then that's for I candy 7 and then we're gonna go back over here I'm gonna go to the drop down arrow on the G4 assign a new command multi key I candy 7 because I like to see actually what it is even though it doesn't show on the keyboard I first did it a couple of times. I actually, the first time I did, I actually printed the whole page. I took a screenshot, printed it out, and put it on the wall so I can just kind of look up at the first until I got used to it. And they'll be like, okay, once I got it, I took it out and threw it away. So we're going to go ahead and start recording. And we're going to do Option, Shift, Command, and I. And then let it go. Press Alt one at a time, pull them all, and then let it go. And it's ready to go. We can stop it. I'm gonna hit OK. I don't think I even had to activate I candy. I don't really usually use it, but it's there just for demonstration purposes. And we're gonna go ahead in G4, and there you go. So it's gonna give me uh, all the information. Actually, it's all, all the all the shortcut keys. I think I I think it even set up correctly. I don't think I saved that. I think I think Photoshop uh, didn't allow me to make that change, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Let's go back to another one. You see that it works, but I think that uh, Option Shift Command I didn't work correctly. I think I don't think I set it up fine, but that's okay. Another one that I set up was Control Option Command P, which is portraiture. So let's set that one up and delete this other one that didn't really like it. 
so we can send the new command it will delete it automatically so portraiture we're going to start recording let's do it on the order that it was intended control option command p press and hold it all of, press and hold them all and then let it go and it's going to duplicate it stop recording hit ok then we're going to get out of here let's do here and let's hit g4 and as you can see it launches portraiture right away boom i can do my changes and hit back and i'm back into my image and start working so if i wanted to do a couple of settings whether it's camera raw that's fine i made my changes i hit ok then i hit the other one to liquefy i made my changes hit ok then i go to g4 send it back to portraiture and as you can see i just start pressing keys one after another after another and I'm ready to go. I'm basically working faster. Boom, one after another. Instead of going to the keyboard, shift, option, command, E, or shift, option, L, whatever. It doesn't matter. You just work faster. And as you can see, I set mine up however I want to. A couple of ones right here. Right here when the buttons, the, the one with the indentations, I have, uh, I select all from all my image. For the previous image, I copy it, and then I paste it. If I wanted to copy from one image and paste another, bring it one to another i like this guy from another one and kind of blend it bring it over to my original image and so on so i select it all then copy and then i go back to my image and i paste it and again i have my command key next to my left or my shift if i hit my transform you know if i want to make it smaller or bigger i just hit a key right here i hit a key and i start working on uh on the image i make my transformation if i hit my shift i actually start uh reducing the size of it and it keeps constrained. If I don't hold the shift, it'll start doing that. So I usually keep hold my shift key right here. And uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much how it works. You see that I have my final sharpen stamp new layer. Uh, uh, G, I haven't actually configured it. But as you can see, my command, paste, copy, my clone, heel brush, and my brush. So this usually when I'm retouching, I use my clone, my heel brush, and my brush all at once. My move tool back into the other one zoom full out you know so in case i i zoom in i got my wacom tile configure right here to zoom in but if i hit g20 i zoom out completely so i go in there i retouch i go ahead and retouch whatever i need to do blah 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 i done it i gotta go back zoom out and pretty much just keep on working faster faster oh, okay that looks good then i zoom out right away and as you can see i got a crop a space bar so if i zoom in into my image i got space bar then i can move around and be like okay i need to do that change to my to my heel brush and then like no 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 i'm gonna use the clone and then you know what i think i'm gonna brush one my layer so you can do right here three keys then i zoom out it's just <clears throat> so much better so much simpler and again it's all within here and you can configure two different programs. So let's say you get M1 for Photoshop, M2 for Lightroom, or M3 for Illustrator. It doesn't matter. And what I've done right here, actually configure, as you can see on this right hand side, you can configure the joystick right here. Up will do one thing, left and right or down, and 7 and A, and R6 is actually, this is 6, this is 7, this is A. You can configure those two, so even you have even more options on top of what you already have here on my first one i have all of these set up on the second one i have the numbers one two three four five six seven nine ten i got my save or i think that's a, i think this is the enter i have set up on my other one i have save i have clo uh, my close or, or something like that i have my save save as and pretty much just work faster so when i'm saving changing the resolution to something i hit here hit save i save it as or save for the web and it just uh, infinite number of combinations customized to what you want to do. Like I said, try it. Trust me. You uh, trust me when I tell you that you're gonna work so much faster. You're gonna keep one hand doing all these commands just with one hand, and with the other one you got your tablet working around, retouching, moving back and forth, back and forth, without having to stop and use both hands for the keyboard to do all those commands. Just go ahead and give it a try. Leave some comments if you do have a, have a specific keyboard that works for you or if this actually you've done it and you used it and see if it works for you let me know how you like it